I wasn't a straight A student. I was very much, I was sports and music were my passions in school until I did one subject in transition year. It was only for one term and it was called computers and information systems. And that's when I actually felt passion for the subject. And that's when I knew, right, okay, that's what I want, that's what I want to do. That one subject was the only tech subject that we had in school at that time. So now people are very lucky that there are technology subjects you can take to leaving cert. I think when I came to the States, my favorite subject became math because I wasn't very good at English. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was doing really well in math. My favorite subject in school was music. I went to a Prince concert two days before my French oral comprehension test for my Leaving Cert. It was not a very popular choice with my French teacher, but um, I did okay anyway. Always big into music growing up, and I actually DJ now, and I have an internet radio station. And I play off vinyl and computers and just any medium to get the music out there. I was in school a while ago. Um, I, we were listening to a lot of pop music. Backstreet Boys was the biggest trend. ABBA was one of my <laughs> favorite bands. Fashion, when I was in school, scrunchies. Were, were pretty popular. In fact, we, we made them in transition year school and, and sold them. I think they're making a comeback. Flares, like really wide jeans, were really popular and they were horrendous. It's like wearing two skirts, basically, one around each leg. Were... We didn't have iPhones. We are basically walking around with Nokias. I remember one time in school, one of my friends dropped his Nokia phone out a second store window and it survived. I don't think you'd get away with that today. So there are a great set of resources out there, things like Smart Futures and Coder Dojo, that get people involved in, uh, in tech at an early stage. I do think people should get involved or at least attend some of those wonderful sessions that are out there now. There's many initiatives to explain what tech is, how you can get involved, what it means. One way for young people to get into technology would be through something like the BT Young Scientist competition. Um, I did that when I was in school. Now my project was a complete failure, but the experience was fantastic. It was really good fun. Um, and if you don't have that available to you in your school, you could request something like Smart Futures or the Ada Lovelace Initiative uh, to organize something to come out to your school and talk to you there. Just try to get out there, go to the Science Week, go to the RDS, any expos you can find, and get chatting to people and just find out what you want to do and get the answers you're looking for. I would definitely suggest that people start getting involved in any of the STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering, mathematics, give them a go. Uh -huh.